Hey girls, for today's makeup video tutorial I will be showing you how to do one beautiful romantic makeup look. If you're interested, keep on watching. I will begin with my eyes first and face afterwards. Um, I'll be using Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. It comes in this silver black packaging. Uh, I'm really amazed how this primer really is great. Uh, it does the work and yeah, your eyeshadow is on place during all of the day. Uh, so yeah, uh, I will be applying it with my finger, like so. Sometimes I instead instead of using my finger, I like to use this flat uh, synthetic brush. Uh, it's Inglot 41 TG. But today I will, it's, it will do to use only fingers for today's video also. So don't forget to apply this eye primer under your eye area also. It's really important to do this step. Because I will be applying some eyeshadow under, under eyes on this third corner of my uh, eye. Uh, I will begin with this uh, really light beige shade as transition shade. It's really important that you have one shade that you use as transi transition shade. Uh, when I use this rosy um, color, uh, so that it, it doesn't get too uh, ro rosy, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Instead, I will get this really soft, nice, beautiful, uh, rosy color. Um, apply also this transition shade under your eye area, on the place where you will where you will have this uh, rosy color. And I'm I'm applying it with this really little, small, round synthetic brush also uh, Inglot uh, 80HP I love this one it's really great for blending and everything especially under your eye area uh, yes uh, when I'm done with that I will begin with my blush um, I do have a lot of shades of rosy colors, especially here on this palette. I could have, I could use any of these, but I'm choosing. I will use this one, but now I'm choosing to use a blush, actually. So, and afterwards I will get to this one. This uh, I bought this Revolution Alexis Stone Instinct palette comes in with this in this red box I'm really I'm really loving how beautiful colors uh, look look uh, they have really nice colors in it vivid but now I'm using this uh, blush uh, color get this soft beautiful look uh, make sure that you blend well to avoid this harsh lines and everything just go back and forward all the time with your light light moves back and forward and if you like you can just go a little bit further than the outer corner of your eye to get this maybe afterwards we will try to get this cat eye look a little bit not too much but a little bit when you blend it that well then I will be Doing next step, 
I will be using this um, another flat brush brush that I have. It's that one. It's not synthetic. It's really uh, Inglot uh, 16 PP. Uh, it looks like this. Really good blush. Uh, this flat brush you have to use always when you when you are going to have some really uh, when you have some eyeshadow here on this area of your eye and for this area I will use brighter pink I showed you I will use this Alexis palette now just, just tapping it yes you don't need to blend at all not yet just tap 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 as you can see this is really bright pink color um, now it looks like a mess but it won't look like this till the end <laughs> all over your eyelid when you're done with that you can use this blush again, brush again again and blend to avoid these harsh lines It looks really great for now. Uh, now I'll be using this one little small round brush uh, that I've been talking about. And I will put this under my eye area, on the third corner of my eye, not going forward with the color, not here, but only at this area here. That's enough. And when I'm done with that, I will just blend a little bit until I'm happy with the color. This is just beautiful, like this. And next step, Revolution palette again. I will be using this shade here or maybe this one wait uh, no I'll be using that one this really nice soft shade and I will put this one on the on my eyelid to kind of get this wet eye look uh, these kind of shades uh, they are best uh, when you apply them with your fingers of course you can try with a brush uh, but then you must use makeup uh, spray fixer this one is enough and after I used that one uh, I think that I will use one uh, lighter one shade, uh, like maybe it looks like silver one, um, and I will use it right in the middle of my eye. I will use this one shade now, and I will put right in the middle here to get this to even enhance to enhance even more this. Um, glowy look as you can see it already looks beautiful uh, nice and glowy it's really beautiful and I will put a little bit in the inner corner of my eye 
just a little bit, not exaggerating much, but just a little bit. To make your eyes pop even more. If you put a little bit more than you wanted, you can always use um, your fingers to take it off. Got this black eyeliner. I'm using it like this. Uh, I will be taking this out with my spatula. It's really, really a uh, good thing to have. To make this eyeliner last during all day and since I do have hooded eyes and to prevent that my liner, eyeliner gets over there uh, I will use Inglot uh, Duralin uh, It is really the best, best product that is invented and it looks like this If you mix only one drop of this Duralin with the eyeliner, it will make it last all day. It really gets difficult to take it off with uh, even with the makeup uh, remover. Uh, so that's how this product is good, actually. So for someone, if someone cries, if it's wedding or something. If you cry and everything, and everything, you don't get to, uh, you don't have to think that this will uh, be all over your face. Uh, so, when using eyeliner, uh, I will be not doing something crazy right now uh, because I do have hooded eyes, and this is really soft makeup look. So I will be making this tiniest line on my eye just to make my eyes pop even more but not doing anything too crazy with, with it. Beautiful. Um, this is one eye. Scarab I will put afterwards. And now I'll be moving forward to the next eye. Doing exactly the same things that I've done now. So.
when I'm almost done with my eyes, uh, I will be using this. Uh, I suppose most of you know what it, this is. It looks a little bit scary, but I promise you it's not. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is really useful thing. Uh, when you think about it, it really does the work. And this I use before putting mascara on. It does really lift a little bit your this like so really one useful thing I always thought that this thing doesn't work and well I was always taught wow what this is like are people crazy for using it but it really makes a difference uh, I will use this brown mascara it's Max Factor uh, Masterpiece it comes with this golden packaging but I really used it uh, good so I do see that I have a little now but it's enough for it will do Uh, I'm not using any false lashes today. It's really, it really has to be one really gentle, beautiful, romantic look, and you don't have to exaggerate with lashes. It's really enough with uh, mascara on. that's it now i'll be moving forward to my face today i'll be using this uh, i have this foundation it's great coverage uh, estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup it comes in glass box like this so I'm using just a tiny bit of foundation. I want to use foundation as the tool who will, which will cover uh, maybe redness that I have or something. Uh, for that, I will be using concealer. Uh, if you use too much foundation, you can bake it, you can do whatever you like, but after a few hours, uh, it will look cakey most of the time it some foundation do look cakey whatever you do with that with them so you just use a tiny little bit foundation um, not as something uh, to cover redness or anything you have it's only to add a little bit color to your face not to cover um, maybe dark spots or anything so it really is a tool to uh, bring a little bit more color to your face to make your uh, face color even in all places and I do have some dark spots it's mostly from the Sun and I will use concealer to cover it make sure to put something a little bit down on your neck when you're blending your foundation be quick about it don't let it dry <laughs> just 
blend a little bit more to make sure that I covered it all. And now it's time for concealer. I will be using a MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. Uh, really, really happy with it. I'm just only using this one. Uh, it's really beautiful. As I said, under your eye area, you always uh, use the tiniest bit of product under your eyes because you don't want to look uh, too much uh, you don't want to get those lines ugly lines it will look like you have uh, it don't look good anyway so and I will use concealer I will use this brush to get this really beautiful uh, line get this uh, cat eye look you can see the difference already between this and that eye concealer dries even more faster than foundation so you have to be quick about it also when you're doing something with concealer this liquid one, they are really, really easy to use, only if you know how to do it. looks really beautiful since I covered all uh, unevens on my face face I will use this translucent powder Laura Mercier comes in packaging like this I'll put a little bit on my T-zone because that's when my skin gets oily. Of course, I don't exaggerate with the product either there. When I'm done with that, I will be do some contouring. this flat brush to try to contour my nose I draw the straight line and it's really easy to do it with this flat brush now I'll be using highlighter after contouring my nose, I put highlighter all over my nose and a little bit here on the tip of my nose. I use my fingers also. Or else when I want, I use this brush for highlighting uh, and it's really beautiful brush. I showed it earlier. 48 SS Inglot like this 
Um, after highlighting my nose and contouring my nose, um, I will move forward to blush. Putting a little bit of blush on my cheeks. The same blush that I use as my eyeshadow. really handy you for highlighting your cheeks get this beautiful glowy look This time I will use this really small, small, uh, tiny synthetic brush. Uh, it's one brush that I bought yesterday. Um, it's only one ordinary brush, but it does work. Uh, I will put highlighter under my brow on this area. really looking beautiful already and I'll put a little bit highlighter on the inner corner just over that uh, eyeshadow that I put in the beginning just to enhance even more like this almost done uh, next step would be lips let me see uh, for lip pencil I will use this one Mac um, it says Dervish lip pencil. Um, A49. Uh, really beautiful, good. Uh, they have really nice, beautiful lip pencils, Mac. And I will be lining a little bit on my upper lip. Uh, don't go too much over your lip line uh, it will show uh, it, people can actually see <laughs> so don't go too much but just a little bit and go just a little bit over your natural line and it will uh, already make a difference
I really do love uh, to put uh, sometimes a lip pencil all over my lips and then on top of that I like to use some uh, lip gloss or something but to for today's look I will also use this one all over my lip because I do really love this color <laughs> And for the end, uh, I will use this Max Factor lip gloss packaging and everything. And this is my look for today. It really is a simple, beautiful, uh, romantic look. Um, it really, this color really suits for us who have uh, dark eyes. It, I think this color also suits to people who have um, blue eyes also. Uh, they can uh, actually use red, uh, blue, purple and also this color too and uh, I, I like this look uh, if you liked it you can just put your thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching <laughs>